niko HIV positive tangu 2008 mwezi wa sita natumia RVs na zimenisaidia zilinitoa mbali sana nikapata mimba tu 9 alizaliwa nini tu 2010 na akatana kwa negative in fact nilikuwa so happy na wakati kala sina neti kala sana na umra mahoma ga mara kwa mara kusikira mwiri siweza mavune lakini baada ya kupata neti nikapoda njira mwa kitandani na neti chekala sasa grama dawa na humere lakini mahoma go sikachuka sasa chekala ndi wona na fu tonyende ka wona raha nilikuwa ninakooa sana nikienda kwa bafu nasikia niko na alaji yani najiambia niko na alaji ya ya maji Nika, nikaenda kliniki nikapimiwa nikasemekana niko na timbi kama bila nilianza hizo dawa za kinyata hizo dawa zilinisaidia sana juu nilianza kuwa na change sasa hii nasikia mwili yangu iko very strong kila kazi kazi yoyote saa hii ninaweza nikafanya kama nikikimbia saa hii kiniambia nikimbia hata uwezi ukanifikia ninakimbia kabisa kazi zangu ninajifanyia HIV and AIDS TB malaria The Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria was created to dramatically increase resources to fight three of the world's most devastating diseases and to direct those resources to areas of greatest need. Since its creation in 2002, the Global Fund has become the dominant financier of programs to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria with approved funding of 21.7 billion US dollars. for more than 600 programs in 150 countries of which Kenya is one of them the fund is supported by donations from countries foundations and individuals the US government is to date the first major contributor followed by the government of France to date programs supported by the global fund worldwide have saved over 6.5 million lives through providing AIDS treatment for over 3 million people anti-tuberculosis treatment for over 7.7 million people and the distribution of 160 million long-lasting insecticide treated bed nets for the prevention of malaria this is a performance based grant and you, you you access as much money as you can implement and as you can account in a transparent and an open manner access to the global fund so because of the way we have turned the corner the global fund is very positive about Kenya and so far we've been rated for our last our last three rep- two reports for HIV and for TB we are on A2 which is very good performance global fund financing in Kenya has been a great success and has enabled the country to strengthen health systems by making improvements to infrastructure and providing training to those who deliver services the global fund continues to work in partnership with the government non-governmental organizations NGOs community based organizations CBOs faith-based organizations and the civil societies CSOs among other groups to scale up the fight against the three diseases and to realize its vision of a world free of AIDS, TB and malaria. We believe that the Global Fund is a true global partnership that is providing life-saving medications to many people in this country. We are keen to make sure that the Global Fund continues to achieve its mandate. In Kenya, the Global Fund is coordinated through a Kenya coordinating mechanism KCM. that includes representatives of multilateral and bilateral donors government non-governmental organizations the private sector university or research institutions and communities affected by the three diseases the kenya coordinating mechanism kcm is responsible for coordinating the preparation and the submission of global fund proposals nominating the principal recipients provision of oversight and governance during the implementation submitting requests for continued funding at the end of the grant the kcm therefore ensures that the global fund proposal is country owned and implementation is country driven since 2002 when the country got its first share of global fund grant the fight against the three diseases has been steady registering great successes over time we have seen changing patterns in terms of hiv prevalence 
uh, 10 years ago the prevalence was close to 13 percent that has dropped down to around 6.3 percent on average however there's a lot of regional disparities and also gender disparities so we have some regions where it's as high as 15 percent in the western part of the country and as low as one percent was northeastern part of the country so we have a whole range of variation across the geographical uh, domain the country currently over half a million people are receiving antiretroviral treatment of whom one-third is supported by the Global Fund. Over 400,000 receive country moxazole to prevent opportunistic infection. Over 5 million HIV counseling and testing sessions have been conducted. 2.4 million basic care and support services have been provided to orphans and vulnerable children. And over 1 million HIV-positive pregnant women have received successful prevention from mother-to-child transmissions, PMTCT, treatment. Thousands of healthcare workers and community health workers have been trained. Over a thousand health workers and VCT counselors have been employed. The fight against tuberculosis is also amazing. Since 2002 to date, over 1 million new cases of infectious tuberculosis have so far been detected and treated. The number of the patients we see here, as I said, there are around 25 to 30 patients, TB patients, and most of them they get cured because the drugs are free and they're procured through the global funding. Currently, over 70% of the estimated international targets for detection of TB cases and treatment using directly observed treatment short course dots are contributed through global fund supported programs kenya's success rate is the best in africa and one of the best worldwide the overall uh, global uh, goal is to eliminate tb by the year 2050 and kenya is contributing towards that by doing its bit within the borders of this country global fund is one of the key uh, financiers of the activities that we undertake kenya won the first grant and the first grant in 2002, which is round, round two, was basically meant for decentralizing of services. And we had in this country at that particular time about 320 diagnostic sites. But through the assistance of Global Fund and other partners, that has since moved beyond. And as I speak right now in 2011, we have more than 1,300 and 88 diagnostic sites. We have much more than 3,000 treatment sites, up from 300. Over 200 persons with multi-drug resistant TB are now receiving treatment thanks to the Global Fund and other donor partners. One MDR TB patient treatment costs over 1.3 million shillings. Over 200 laboratories have been refurbished and equipped. A modern MDR isolation facility has been established at Kenyatta National Hospital and will soon be operational. The fight against malaria too is achieving great successes. Over 11 million long-lasting insecticide-treated nets have been distributed to protect families from malaria transmission. Now with the bed nets that have been distributed, the results will be decreased. In prevalence. Over 2 million indoor residual spray to houses in endemic areas have been performed. And over 45 million malaria first line medication has so far been delivered to beneficiaries all over the country. Key achievement, especially for Global Fund in Kenya, is the change of policy, treatment policy from the SP to the ACT. Further, it helped, for example, in Kenya to employ over 500 health workers in 2006-2009 when we were changing this policy. Malaria used to be 30% in terms of prevalence. Right now, uh, we have got results of the malaria indicator survey done in 2010 and prevalence has gone down as low as 4% in cost. 
Between the year 2006 to 2011, a total of 52 million US dollars for 9.5 million long-lasting insecticide-treated nets was given for successful mass distribution campaigns, in addition to 17 million US dollars towards 3.4 million long-lasting insecticide nets for Kenyan children and pregnant women. In order to ensure that everybody has access to malaria prevention, particularly the most vulnerable groups, then the government and the partners took measures to ensure that these nets are delivered free of charge. So initially targeting pregnant women and children under five, then extending that benefit to the whole community, meaning men, older children, adolescents, everyone in the community is getting access or should have access to a net and this is being given free of charge. The areas which have the highest burden are the areas surrounding Lake Victoria, Western and Nyanza provinces, and also parts of coast, and in certain specific areas within the country, around irrigation schemes, along rivers, that have a specific risk. Net use for Kenyan children under five rose dramatically from 7% in 2004 to almost 70% currently. Huge successes in malaria reductions all over the country cannot be reported. Zamani, watu waligonjeka, wengine hawakuweza kutengeneza kazi zao za nyumbani. Wanafunzi walikosa kwenda shuleni na tukawa sasa tunakimbilia hospitalini. Tulielimishwa mambo ya neti na neti zilipokuja kwa tunatumia neti na siku hizi tunaenda shuleni tunatengeneza kazi zetu vizuri to ensure effective diagnosis and treatment of malaria the global fund supports both the improvement of government laboratories and enhancing laboratory personnel skills the program has procured rapid diagnostic tests to support malaria microscopy and parasitological diagnosis in the epidemic-prone districts in the country. Under the Malaria Global Fund grant, Round 10, the fund will invest 36 million US dollars towards rapid diagnosis of malaria in public and private hospitals. Since 2006, the first-line treatment for malaria in Kenya has been artemisinin-based combination therapy, commonly known as ACT, supplied through Global Fund. The other area being supported by Global Fund is appropriate research on malaria activities through organizations like ISIPE. Our success actually, when we were going through the hospital data, monitoring what we have done, especially on the, for the time we have been in Mwea, we found that the indicators were that uh, the malaria prevalence has uh, slightly gone down. It has uh, actually changed the life of many. And again, even the global work that is actually now going on in terms of community, it has really helped the community. Pyrethrum Board of Kenya, in collaboration with the Division of Malaria Control through a Global Fund grant, piloted a research project on highland malaria control using Pymos, a natural pyrethrum product. The main objective of the project was to reduce malaria prevalence in Kosirai Division of Nandi North District with a population of 48,000 people through indoor residual spraying IRS. A total of 17,500 house structures were sprayed, representing 87% of the total mapped structures in the division. Six months post-spraying, Pymos achieved the World Health Organization acceptable mosquito kill of more than 80%, bringing the malaria prevalence to less than 2% in the sprayed division throughout the monitoring period. And as the fight against malaria is reporting huge success, even more successes are being reported on the TB and HIV fronts. We are recipients of Global Fund Round 5, that is a TB grant. This grant was meant to help communities, first of all, understand TB, because TB is the leading cause of sickness and death among people living with HIV AIDS. This grant was also to educate people living with HIV AIDS and communities so that they understand multidrug resistant TB. So with this grant, we have managed to recruit and train 150 community health workers 
We call them TV ambassadors of hope. These TV ambassadors of hope, the 150,